back to my channel if you're new here please make sure to hit the little red button and subscribe i would really really appreciate it so for this week's video i wanted to bring you guys along for a very very realistic day in my life and kind of give you guys a better idea of what it looks like to work remotely so for those of you guys who don't know i have a nine to five job within the digital marketing industry and my job actually has a hybrid model so i only go into the office a few days and then i work from home the rest of the day so i have done a few vlogs in the past and i kind of have showed you guys working but i don't really think i've gone in detail as to how my day is structured and what i do to stay organized and focused while i'm here at home because it is a little bit different when you're working from an office space as opposed to the comfort of your own home but i woke up a little while ago as you guys saw i made my bed i did my morning skincare and i had some breakfast and now i'm just going to do some very very light makeup i usually don't do any makeup at all when i am working from home it's nice to let my skin breathe a little bit and not apply anything but today i wanted to put some on just so i can feel a little bit more motivated So now that I'm done with my makeup, I have a few minutes left before I have to start work. So I thought I would use this time just to plan out my week and also change up my calendar because today is actually April 1st. I'm going to show you guys my calendar and a few things that I use. I'm really proud of my calendar. I made it on Shutterfly, so everything's like really customizable and I'm really happy with how mine turned out. So I'm going to show you guys mine. Also, I'm wearing my blue light glasses. It's been a while since I've used these. I honestly just forgot that I had them, but I really want to protect my vision, so I thought I would start using them again. And these are from Amazon. I will link them in the description box below in case you guys are interested. I'm going to start off by planning my week, and I'm probably not going to get done with this because I don't have much time, but I thought I would just start off with this. So this is what it looks like. I believe I got this from Target in the like $1 to $5 section so it has a little space for each day of the week and then a space where you can put the date and then i really love this little to-do list that they included i'm big on to-do lists so this is really helpful and then just a spot for notes or doodles so i don't really use this spot but i'm basically gonna start off by planning what i have to do each day so if i have like a bill due i will put it here and if i have an appointment a meeting or anything planned with friends and family any reservations i will put it here as well all right so now that that's done i will probably go and add a few more things throughout the week throughout the day as they come to mind that i have to do and now i'm going to set up my calendar and i wanted to show you guys a few planner calendar stickers so i have ordered these on amazon and they're great so these are from the brand essential and i have three different kind i've had them since i was in college which explains the student planner one and then there's also this one which is their weekly planner stickers and then i got the monthly planner stickers more recently and then i got this little planner sticker book from target for a dollar and this one has 397 stickers and then this is what my calendar looked like for march so what i love about shutterfly is that you're able to customize it like i mentioned so you can add photos you can add stickers banners borders around the top and bottom and then this is what the bottom looks like pretty simple i just use the same four leaf clover border or background and then 
you guys can see the little stickers that I just showed you. Let me show you guys the April one. So this is what I have set for April. It was pretty simple and I didn't really know what to do because I don't really have anything going on. There aren't any holidays this month. So I just went with the theme of April showers. Now I'm going to go ahead and add any appointments, important dates that I may have going on this month. Alright, calendar is all set for this month and it is now 8.30 so I'm gonna start work. So the first thing that I do when I start is I check emails that came in over the weekend or maybe earlier today and I was actually off Friday. It was Good Friday and since I've been working I like to take off Good Friday every year so I can spend it praying, learning a little bit more about the meaning behind this day going to church and spending time with my family so I was off on Friday and I came back to looks like a little over a hundred emails I don't have to respond to all of these emails usually I'm included in group emails and so someone else responds but if there's any information for myself then I will take note of that so I have folders set up for different types of emails so I will start off by looking at the emails, reading them, and placing them into the different categories. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And that's probably going to take me around 45 minutes. Because I was only off one day, I don't have that many emails. But on a regular Friday to Monday difference, it'll probably take me 30 minutes. So today I'm expecting it to take 45 to an hour. Alright, so I'm finally done going through these emails and now the next thing that I'm going to do is work through my tasks. So these tickets will include different requests from people on different teams in my company. So I basically have to work through those. So that's usually what takes up a chunk of my days and then I also work on any side projects with my supervisor and manager and this varies. So we might have different weekly projects set up or different projects that take a little bit more time and are due at the end of the month. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm basically going to work on these tasks until it's time for lunch. And then I will catch up with you guys. Alright guys, it is now 1pm. And I usually take my lunch a little bit earlier. Like around 12 or 12.30. 12 but today I wasn't really hungry because I had a pretty big breakfast. So I'm now going to go get lunch. And I am going to eat something here at home. We have leftovers from... The weekend, I'm going to put something together, probably a salad with some type of protein, stay energized and awake for the rest of the workday. And I forgot to mention, but something else that I do when I start my workday is make a to-do list for any work tasks that I need to get done today or just throughout the week on a notepad. This definitely helps me stay organized so that I don't miss or forget any tasks or any deadlines that are due. But yeah, we're gonna head downstairs to eat some lunch. But I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. So this is today's work from home outfits. Super, super casual. To be completely transparent with you guys, I am usually in sweats or leggings or just like a workout outfit. When I work from home, I don't have anything going on after work, which is usually the case Mondays through Thursdays. So today's outfit is just this brown sweatshirt, these cream or white Adidas joggers. It's actually still pretty chilly in Chicago, unfortunately. The weather dropped, even though spring started. The temperature is like in the 40s, so it's still pretty cold. And then I'm just wearing my Adidas. I don't know which style these are, but these are the gym shoes that I use when I work out. Which is what I have planned to do after work. So I'm going to exercise. I'm going to do some laundry. And then I have to cook lunch for work tomorrow. So I'm going to do a little bit of like meal prepping. But yeah, this is today's lazy but comfy outfit. having some salad with mini cucumbers and some leftover spaghetti that had shrimp and broccoli 
and I always like to watch something while I eat, so today I watched Tara Michelle's most recent vlog. And I also like to use my time to edit any videos or TikToks that I'm working on. Hey guys, it is now 3.30, which means I only have an hour and a half left of work. We're almost there and I got a little bit hungry for those of you who don't know I have a sweet tooth and so I always crave like sugar which is not good which would explain the current state of my face and my skin I'm a firm believer that your diet affects your body in so many different ways so I decided to have some fruit for my sweet treat today so I can avoid any of like the artificial sugars so I cut up a green apple, some pineapple and strawberries Alrighty, I am officially done working for the day. First day of the work week done. And I am now going to throw in a load of laundry. And then I'm going to eat some dinner, cook lunch for tomorrow. And I want to exercise for at least 45 minutes. So this is now going to be my 5 to 9 routine. And then we're going to wind down at the end of the night. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw that load of laundry. So I just finished eating dinner. I really enjoyed my dinner. And I was just chilling here on my phone, not gonna lie, I was scrolling through TikTok, but it's now past 8. And I usually like to be in bed by 11 or 11.30. So I'm gonna go head downstairs and cook my lunch for tomorrow. So I'm gonna be making this recipe from HelloFresh. It's the creamy Dijon dill chicken with potatoes and broccoli and this video is not sponsored by them but i am a huge fan of them i really do recommend it to a lot of my friends and family because i really like the recipes that they have they always taste really good and i just really like that no food goes to waste because everything's portioned out but yeah let's head downstairs and make the lunch and then i'm gonna do some exercise end up having time to exercise i don't know why but it always takes me forever to cook like i am not even on my phone or anything like that but i honestly don't know where the time goes while i'm cooking so i'm now just gonna start getting ready for bed and i'm taking out my contacts then i'm gonna clean up my makeup and i'm gonna take a quick body shower I will catch up with you guys before I go to bed. I am finally in bed and it is a bit later than usual. I don't know why but today just flew by. But I did my skincare after I showered and then I prayed. And I try to pray the rosary and the divine mercy every night before bed. And I also started praying the novena. And now I wanted to share with you guys what else I do at the start of every month, which is budgeting. So this is kind of the template that I have created for myself. And I got part of this idea from someone on YouTube. I can't remember exactly who, but this is kind of how she broke down her expenses and income. If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about how I budget, I am not an expert by any means and I still have a long way to go in learning how to save but if you guys would like me to do a video on how i budget and try to save every month please let me know in the comments down below i would actually really like to film that for you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and fill that out but before i do i thought i would share with you guys the books that i'm reading this month so i started a new book today and it's this one it's called the bodyguard by Catherine center and i got the recommendation from just conti if you guys still know, she's like one of my favorite YouTubers. I started reading it while I was doing laundry and I'm currently on chapter 2. And so far, it's pretty good. So I'm really excited to keep reading it. And then this other book I started like in January, but I never finished it. But I do want to finish it up and it is this one. When you're ready, this is how you heal by Brianna West. If you guys would also like me to film a video rating and talking about the books that I have read this year so far, let me know. I would also consider it. But overall today was a pretty productive day and I feel like I got a lot done so I feel good about that. 
and I really hope you guys enjoyed getting a little bit more insight on what a day looks like for someone who works remotely and I just hope you enjoyed this video overall if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye